Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings. And when I say another week, <laughs> that's not quite right because the last time you uh, got a reading of me here um, was actually in 2018. Can't believe it's already the end of July, so to speak. <laughs> um, but I haven't been feeling well for uh, quite some time and I'm still not feeling too well. But I have decided to, um, you know, revive the, 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 the readings. They might not be um, weekly. They, uh, they, you know, depends on how I truly feel. Anyway, welcome. We are looking at the week of July, July the 29th to August the 4th, 2019, energy and star sign reading. So before we have a look at the uh, star signs individually, let's have a look what this week has got in stock for us. Um, I think the thing to mention is obviously that on the 1st of August we have a new moon uh, in the star sign of Leo and um, what can happen in the Leo star sign new, new moon is um, that you have to pay a little bit of attention to your uh, blood circulation and your heart rate so the first thing therefore is um, and probably uh, the, the guys will confirm this later is to make sure that the week is somewhat stress-free, <laughs> right? But um, let's not jump the gun here. Let's see what the overall energy for the week of July the 29th to August the 4th is actually like. Yeah, look. I have four decks here that you can't see, but I'm drawn to this one. And uh, let's have a look. Overall energy reading for the week of July 29th to August the 4th. Okay, well, makes sense uh, <laughs> immediately. You have the osprey and the red fox. The idea is to remember that when you need to rest, you need to rest. There's no two ways about it. You can still see opportunities coming to you this week, but don't chase anything. Also, don't rush into anything, just see if you can figure things out slowly. You have the Osprey and the Red Fox. Every fox is basically telling you um, that you are an old soul. The Red Fox in particular is telling you that um, you are very adaptable. All they're saying is you, you, have, you, you already possess the skills you do need to survive even the harshest environments. And I hope you don't have a harsh environment to deal with. What, what we're saying is, this is the week to not rush into anything. Let the world pass by, so to speak, and, and rest. I understand it probably might not be that easy because um, the school breaks up, wife well, broken up, and uh, so um, especially parents are sort of, you know, <laughs> now faced with with the little, with the little uh, uh, terrors, as we call them in Germany, <laughs> the kids being home, and it can be exciting and tiring. All the guides are saying that it is, this is important. If you don't look after yourself, no one else will. So make sure you have some boundaries in place so that people understand that when you're tired, they have to back off. That's really all this is about. Um, and let's go now into the um, individual star signs, which obviously are a bit more revealing because obviously it relates to a specific kind of uh, birth dates. So we're starting with the star sign of Leo. Let's have a look what we got. For Leos, it is really important this week to look at a vantage point, find a space. So the idea is just actually step back first. Step back and then find a vantage point, a mental one, from which you really assess your life. Really, really important. It's time for assessing how happy am I in my current situation, you know, these kind of things. Does the job still work for me? All these kind of things. So this is a week for assessment, not action. You have the puma and the snake. The snake is the animal of protection, 
you enhance. So remember when you go to the cane, you see the, you, uh, sorry, when you go to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. All they're saying to you is, you're actually quite safe this week. But, and this goes hand in hand with, with, with the overall energy, um, the new moon um, that has to do with um, making sure that your heart circulation and heart rate are um, okay. All they're saying is, it is really important to be Gentle is the wrong word, but to be um, mindful of everything you do and don't rush into anything. Here's the other thing that, that sort of <clears throat> comes in here. It is really important to not get angry at anything. Anger is not the most useful of emotions. And this week, because they're asking you to step back and to look at a vantage point, don't get carried away by anger. Assess. If you get angry over a situation then the assessment has to be, how can I change it? Is it fixable? And what can be done to make this easier? That's all you need to do this week, okay? So, short and sweet, that was Leo going into Virgo. <laughs> when the card falls out, it wants to be read. <laughs> Virgos, you have the great spirit and the crow. This is all symbolism and it means for Virgos this week, you are protected. The great spirit is around you, your guides are around you, you are being looked after, you do have all the spiritual help you need, but you need to realize and remember that you are going through changes, through transformation. And this is a time that should not be stopped. You're going through changes that are life-changing in, in many cases and get you to a different space from which to actually, um, again, it's all about assessment, assess your life and make, hopefully, better choices, different choices. Okay, so just remember, if you feel like, oh, it's all a bit much and I feel tired and sluggish because that's the feeling they're giving me, especially here around the solar plexus, um, it's all part of that transformative state Virgos are in and so what the guides are saying is you are protected take things easy okay and as I always say um, there, there, there already seems to be um, some sort of a theme here with rest and assessment right that was Virgo going into Libra Nearly there. Okay. You have the Shaman of Birds and the Companion. This has nothing to do with um, the uh, the relationship you're in, the companion you, you're in. The Shaman of Birds basically is, is the guy that says, or the, or the symbol, symbolism that tells you now is the time to look into new ideas. What is it I want to achieve? What makes me happy? And then see if this can be um, put into action. In that sense, the companion basically means that, that your new energy, um, your new interest in something is what accompanies you through the following weeks, if that makes sense. So in other words, Whatever brain child <laughs> you, you give birth to this week is worth exploring. But remember, you can't rush it. Right? Sometimes we have ideas and then we think, oh, we just need a little push. And then you probably hear, oh, maybe I should push it. No, you don't push anything. But if there's something on your mind that you feel should be um, really looked at and maybe pampered and then uh, brought into focus, that's the week for it, absolutely important, right? And this will be, it's not a shadow as such, but this will be something that will be with you for a while. So make sure that it actually interests you enough to sustain it, okay? That was Libra. Going into Scorpio. And remember, we're looking at the week of August 29th, Sorry, July 29th to August the 4th, 2019. 
and this is Scorpio. Again, the theme continues. You have the falcon and the snake. So remember that the falcon is a bird of prey. And the idea is that you are vigilant, but you actually do see from a distance what needs to be looked at. That's the symbolism here. right? So again, it's a bit like it was with Leo earlier, uh, looking at a vantage point. And actually, it's, it's almost exactly what Leo had in a way. Uh, to just assess and remember that you're quite safe and um, keep your heart rate steady and your your health in check. Okay? Short and sweet for Scorpio, going into Sagittarius. We, you know, in the past, this is probably, I don't know, the 35th video uh, about energy readings that we've done. And I don't really remember having one, I mean, there's, all, there's oftentimes overlapping energy, but I have never really or can't recall one where virtually every star sign thus far had the same theme-ish. Um, so for Sagittarius this week, uh, you have the, the white tail deer and the frog. And the deer is the, the animal that tells you that you know, you really shouldn't be chased during the day. You have to be calm. There are certain times like morning, sunrise, sunset, where you should focus your thoughts and again reflect and assess and overall be mindful of um, your activities in life. And here's the important thing because you have the frog. And the idea is that, that it is an amphibian and that means you can live on, it can live on land and water. What it means to you is just assess your situation calmly. Be calm, you know, with, with, with regards to everything. And just remember, no matter what happens, no matter what the next step is, you will be fine. Okay? Sagittarius, going into Capricorn. Capricorns, you should give yourself a little pep talk this week and tell yourself, you know what, yeah, I might have made mistakes, but I haven't really done something so horrible that I should be looked at in disdain. Here's the thing, they're asking you to remember how pure you actually are, how innocent you actually are, and that sometimes you carry the burdens of the world for no particular reason and it doesn't quite work so in other words for um for capricorns it's important for you to please yourself this is a week where you shouldn't exert too much energy but mostly look after yourself so that would be a week where you just enjoy doing what you really enjoy doing and um, don't pay attention too much to other things that need to be done. So like, remember, they're not asking you to just don't uh, to just not pay your bills and don't go to work. That's not what they're about. What they're saying is that the focus, the main focus for Capricorns, should be yourself. Okay, and obviously everything needs to be calm. Really important this week. So that's the theme so far that, that we need to be. Uh, everybody here needs to be calm. Going into Aquarius. Aquarius sounds simple this week, may not always be that simple to put into action because you have the ancestor of knowing, which means use your intuition. Your intuition is always absolutely bang on. So trust your intuition, but use it with foresight. Use your intuition. What does your intuition tell you about a given situation? And then use that to, in a way, extrapolate 
what you can uh, or should be doing with regards to it, right? So um, uh, employ um, employ uh, some some forethought uh, into anything and everything, if that makes sense. But uh, first and foremost, remember your intuition, your inner knowing, that feeling. And I kind of feel like this doesn't feel right or this feels really good. Yeah, your intuition is bang on. Trust your intuition and act on it, but see things through logically. You know, like I said, there, have to, there has to be some foresight. So again, nothing rushed, um, nothing in the spur of the moment, because that can cause uh, some issues this week if you just go like, yeah, I'm going for it, kind of thing. So, so calmness is the key here as well. But main message is that you are, um, your, your inner knowledge, knowing, your, your intuition is your biggest ally this week for uh, Aquarius. I just think the plural, plural is Aquarius. Is, don't quite know. Anyway, moving on to Pisces. I shouldn't really have a um, <laughs> a favorite star sign, but I'm a Pisces myself, so I love Pisces. Right? So let's have a look at Pisces. Pisces. Let's have a look. And remember, we're looking at the week of July the 29th to August the 4th, 2019. Looking into Pisces now. Okay, for Pisces this week, well, for Pisces, virtually every week is about the heart. It's about hard things, where, you know, emotions. This is the week that where, where um, if you are feeling low, if you're in a situation that is not easy emotionally, to have some boundaries. To say like, okay, well, you know, I need to be outside of everything to actually recuperate and rest. And, and you, have, you have the lion and the ram. And the ram is an animal that sort of hangs on, on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. So the message is, if Pisces say, okay, it's all a bit much, but the only logical solution or option this week is to actually remove yourself from, from it all. In other words, don't overthink. If you are emotionally compromised, have a good cry. If that doesn't do it, have to. You know, um, uh, you renew yourself with water. You know, have loads of bath and just try to relax as much as you can and and allow the emotions to come to the front forefront. But try not to make it a topic with others. Right? You don't have to discuss everything this this week if that makes sense. You know, just look after yourself that's really important for pisces because you have the the card or, or, the, or, the, or the animal guide of the ram that is a, like i said on, on a cliff and doesn't fall you look after yourself you allow your emotions to actually flow freely that's important not hiding right you can remove yourself if you don't want to inconvenience other people or be the focus of attention so remove yourself by, by all means but the, the the point the guides are making this week if you let the emotions flow freely. If you grieve, because that's the energy I'm having here, is a bit of a heavy energy. I need to let this go. This is all difficult, right? This is the energy that comes through for Pisces this week. Um, let it happen, and you will be fine. That's the obviously the, the 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 other message here. You will be fine. All you need to do is to not pretend you're fine already, right? Remember Pisces. Being one myself, I speak from experience, we are really, in a way, super emotional. You know, everybody is, is emotional, it's all part of every star sign. But Pisces, we have it in spades. So it's really important to therefore pay attention to our emotions, let them flow, and we will be fine. Okay? That was Pisces. My favorite star sign. <laughs> Going into Aries now. You know what I really hate about when it's too warm? I start sweating here and then my glasses sort of fall off. Anyway, completely unrelated to the reading, let's go uh, into Aries. Okay. You have the ancestor of uh, illusion and spirit of healing. What they're saying to you, a lot of situations in your life 
a lot of the, the, the things that you perceive as, as really difficult are in fact an illusion. Right? A lot of things that you can already feel aren't really solving itself, sorting itself out. It's, it, the things that are tedious will stay tedious until you realize that these are the situations, and this is the, 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 the main message here, which is not often happening, that the message is sort of that straightforward. They're asking you, the guys are asking you, just remove yourself. Really, remove yourself, look at it, and also, this is probably a, the hardest thing, in, in a way for Aries, is to say it isn't working, it does not work, so I've had enough. And then make sl uh, slowly preparations to let stuff go that you have uh, seen. When, when, they, when they talk about illusions, it doesn't mean it's not real, it just means that you probably do and go the extra mile to, to make sure the situation is workable kind of thing and the guides are saying well you, when you if you tried everything under the sun and there is really no change then maybe it isn't working and if it isn't working it's no point continuing okay and um, and with this um with this insight that you then get from thinking okay that's what's wrong with the world it's me trying too hard to hold on to things and to make them work once you realize that your healing will come. So in other words, I think for um, for Aries, there might be a little breakdown coming this week where you realize, you know, this is not really the way it should be and you tried everything, it's not quite working. And then the spirit of healing is oftentimes, um, obviously, it's not a breakdown as such, but you, you know, you will have your little down moments where, where, where your soul and therefore your physical body as well realize I need to let that all go. This massive weight on your shoulders needs to go. So there will be uh, some emotions, some tears with the realization that, that not everything can be fixed. And all, they, all they're saying to you is, let it happen. It's always the hardest thing to actually do when the message is just let it happen because um, one feels hopeless and, and um, and feels like not in control, you don't have to be in control. You just need to realize what is working and what isn't working, and then let it all go, cry it out, and then see what next week is happening, so to speak. But this week, July 29th to August the 4th, just assess, have a look at what's, what isn't working, decide that you have done enough if you feel it isn't fixable, and let it go, okay? That was Aries going into Taurus. <laughs> Tauruses, nothing can fool you. I think you already know that. There isn't much that escapes you. Right? You see things exactly the way they are, but you, you need the strength to actually do something about it. And don't just know, okay, um, it is really as difficult as I feel it is or see it is, and then don't do anything about it. In other words, what they're saying to you is because your assessment of the situations you're in is correct, and you know exactly this is what's going on here, um, you have the great horned owl. The owl draws an auditory map so she can catch the mouth in the undergrowth without herself getting caught in it. So the symbolism is, or the analogy is, is pay attention to what's going on and then sort it out without getting too entangled in it. So remember the first step is, is realization. So once you really realize, which you probably already have, otherwise it wouldn't be reflected in your weekly energy here. Um, once you realize, I, I know what I perceive it to be, that's what it really is, and then make, make changes, if that makes sense. Okay, that's that. That was Taurus going into Gemini. This one fell out. Mm -hmm. 
Gemini's, you need to give yourself a kick up the bum like that. You need to kickstart your life. You need to realize that you are, that the way you are is perfectly fine. So if you say, you know what, I hold my head high, I walk around with self-pride, that makes sense, uh, without ego, but you kind of say, like, you know what, I am a good person and I am worth uh, the best that's out there. And, and, and then you need to be enthusiastic enough um, to not dwell on the things that have happened to you that made you feel less appreciated, but go like, you know what, I'm going to change this. And what I'm getting is, sometimes the guys give me these um, images, is, is for, um, for Geminis to probably go to a gig. So go somewhere where there's entertainment. Let yourself be carried away by, by vibration, if that makes sense. Uh, or have a, um, a lovely walk in a forest where, you, where, where nature will be your ally. Just to recharge these batteries and first and foremost get some enthusiasm back to actually tackle your stuff, okay? That's Gemini. Last star sign for the day will be Cancer, coming up right now. So Cancerians, you know, thanks for being so patient. <laughs> Let's see what the guides have got for you for this week, July the 29th to August the 4th, 2019. Right. Cancerians actually need me time. You need space. You need to focus on what it is that actually is happening inside you. Right. That's the important thing. You really need some me time. Make some space just for yourself. And there is a part of you that is hiding your true uniqueness your true emotions. Um, I would say, go as far as saying that that, that um, it feels to me that sometimes you're running away, uh, you, you're doing things very quickly, so you don't have to look at, at deeper problems, at healing, I don't mean it's in a bad way, but if you keep yourself busy, for instance, or, or you know, that kind of thing, you're not really stopping to, to assess how you're truly feeling and then work through stuff. Um, because the leopard has unique dots, if that makes sense, and um, it is that uniqueness that cannot always be seen at this point in time. So when you ask yourself and allow yourself some me time, just yourself, see where this is going, right? without, without overthinking, just have me time, um, and, and just reflect on things. Try to, def to, to reflect s slightly detached, right? So if no point reliving your issues, it's just assessing what do these issues actually do to me, okay? And that's what you need to do. So it's really important to actually stop everything, break, <laughs> and just give yourself some space. Really important, then focus on your true uniqueness. What is your outlook? What is it that makes you tick? And then claim it from the universe. Okay, that's all we have time for. That was the week July the 29th to August the 4th, um, 2019. Thank you all for watching. See you soon.